A long, long time ago, there lived a rich merchant in Baghdad. He had a son named Sinbad. Sinbad was very cute, and everyone loved him. When he was a young man, his father died. After his father's death, Sinbad inherited all the wealth. He had no idea how to manage this wealth, so he started spending it as he wished. He spent most of his wealth lavishly on food and wine. The elders in his family advised him to spend the money wisely. Oh, uncle, I am not interested in doing any business. You see, I have a lot of money with me. I would like to enjoy my life. His friends took advantage of him. As days went by, Sinbad's wealth reduced. One fine day, he realized that he had lost all of his wealth. He was worried now. He did not want to live as a poor man. He thought for days on what to do. I have lost all my money. I think it will be better if I start sailing over the Persian Gulf with some merchandise. I think I can make a lot of money by doing business. He and his group sailed from one country to another, selling merchandise. Sinbad started to make good profit, and soon he was recognized as a great merchant. Once, while he and his group were sailing through the Persian Gulf, they found a beautiful island. Wow, this island is so charming. It has a beautiful green color. I think we should get down at the island and spend some time there. They brought the ship to the shore of the island and got down on the island. They had a lot of fun on the island and they played around a lot. After some time, they all got hungry. So they decided to cook in the island. They brought some wood from the ship and started to light the fire. As soon as they lit the fire, they felt the earth shaking. There were waves all around. They thought it was an earthquake. The entire island was shaking. None of them could stand up, and they all fell down. There was thundering noise all around. Run! Run! We are in great danger! They realized that they were not on any island, really. It was the back of a huge sea monster. All of them were terrified when they realized this. They started running for their lives. Some of them jumped into the sea. Some were able to board the ship. But a few among them were not so fortunate. Before they could climb the ship, the captain left the place hurriedly. There were a few sailors who were still struggling in the sea for their life. Sinbad was one among them. He tried swimming toward the ship. However, the heavy waves pushed him away from the ship. He looked at the ship sailing away to his disappointment. He was tossed around the sea by huge waves. He held on to a piece of wood, and he never lost his hope. He floated in the sea for the whole night. The waves washed him ashore an island. 
His legs had turned stiff due to the cold seawater. He was unable to walk, so he crawled to the shore. Sinbad was very hungry by now, so he started searching for food. He was so tired and hungry. He had not eaten anything for a long time now. He searched for food in the forest, but he couldn't find any, except for some herbs. Luckily, he found a spring of pure water. He quenched his thirst by drinking the water. Sinbad was really tired by now, so he slept there for some time. After a good sleep, he gained some energy, and he was able to walk now. He slowly started exploring the island. While he was walking, he heard the noise of someone talking. Sinbad was curious. He turned around to see who it was. When he turned back, he found a man standing amidst the bushes. The man slowly walked toward him. You look very weak and hungry. Here, take some of these fruits. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Sinbad found the man very friendly, so he took the fruits and ate them. The man then started asking Sinbad about his whereabouts. He told him what happened in detail. After a short walk, they reached in front of a cave. Is this the place where you live? Yes, now come with me. They both entered the cave. There, Sinbad found a lot of men sitting inside the cave. They were all the workers of the king of the island. The men served him food and wine. Sinbad overheard their conversation about their king. He realized that the man who ruled this island was very generous and kind to people. Hey, can you help me to meet your king? Of course, we will take you to our king tomorrow. Sinbad was taken to the king the next morning. His name was Mir John. Sinbad introduced himself to the king and told him his story. The king was a noble and kind person. He had sympathy towards Sinbad and offered him a job. Sinbad was appointed as an officer in port. Sinbad was a hard worker and everyone in the island loved and respected him. One day, when Sinbad was standing at the port, he saw a ship approaching the port. Huh? That ship? It's my ship! It was the same ship in which he was traveling before he got stranded. Sinbad could not control his excitement. He went to meet the captain of the ship. When the captain of the ship saw him, he was immensely surprised to find Sinbad alive. Thank God you are alive, my friend. I'm so sorry for leaving you behind. That's all right, Captain. The crew was happy to find Sinbad as well. The captain then handed over the goods that belonged to Sinbad. Sinbad was so happy to get his goods back. He wanted to inform the same to his beloved king. He chose a few valuable items from his wealth and ran to the king's palace. He presented those to the king. Oh my lord, please accept these. Please allow me to return to my family. The king agreed and told him that he was happy for him. He gave a lot of gifts to Sinbad as well. 
He also gave permission to do business in his island until he returned to Baghdad. The ship stayed there for a week. Meanwhile, Sinbad did an excellent business with his goods and made a lot of money. Thank God. I have made enough money to live a happy life with my family. At the time of departure, he went to meet the king again. He thanked the king for his kindness and all the favors he received. When it was time for leaving the island, the king himself bid him farewell. Sinbad returned to Baghdad and lived happily for a long time. There are many more adventures of Sinbad, and I will tell you those later.